This is much more of a vocab question, vocabulary for math, rather than actually solving anything. We just need to understand what they're saying. They're giving us a line, they're asking about another line, and specifically they're telling us that line J is parallel to line K. So there's our vocab word. What does it mean for two lines to be parallel? So you might be thinking, you know, in geometry class, you probably learned, oh yeah, that's when like two lines don't cross, they go in the same direction. Right? And, and normally we can maybe have that third line in between, that's a geometry concept, and it has to do with angles. But for a graph, right, that just means that the two lines on the graph are going to have the same slope. Okay, same slope. Well now let's just compare the line that they gave us, which is in the format y equals mx plus b, what is the slope? Well, the m represents the slope of a line, so the slope is one fourth. So we can either uh, write it as one fourth in the in the free response, or 0 0.25. Obviously, it's the same thing. Those are both acceptable. But that's it. Notice there's really no work for this question. It is this thing that you just need to memorize. So you need to be able to, when you have an algebra question, an x y plane question, know that parallel is code for same slope. Uh, and obviously this only applies to lines because lines are the only thing that have slopes. But um, you need to be able to make that connection instantaneously, right? It, it's just, it has to be automatic. They are going to ask about this. And sometimes they'll ask about it in this way where it's literally just all you have to know is that, that word um, and what it translates to. But other times it's just one piece of a question. So for harder ones, they might tell you that they're parallel. And then there's a lot of other work that has to go into the question besides that. So you wouldn't even have a chance at that harder question if you didn't know this vocabulary word. So it, it, the, the vocab on math is, is really important for getting these easy ones right and for just being able to understand more and more of the hard questions where they're trying to overwhelm you with math. To throw in one more vocabulary word, another way of talking about this exact same situation is to say that line J and line K have no solutions. The system of those two lines has no solutions because when we talk about a graph, solution basically just means intersection. And if two lines are parallel, they're going in the same direction forever. They never cross. They don't bend or curve towards each other. So they never cross um, and never can intersect. So all three of these words need to kind of be in your like same part of your brain, right? Wherever you store this information. Parallel lines have no solutions, and they have the same slope. They will have different y-intercepts, okay? So the b is gonna be different. I don't know what the y-intercept of j is, but I know for a fact that it's not one. That's the only thing I know. Otherwise, they would be the same line, and that's a different situation. That's infinitely many solutions. But here, we've got three words that kind of all orbit each other, and we have to be able to quickly jump from one to the other uh, to be able to solve questions on the SAT. They really like this topic. It will come up on your test.